I've had people ask me about my planners, so I thought I would go over what I'm currently using and then what I have set up for 2023. This is my current planner. This first section is um, admin, which includes my desire map notes. And then it also has my goals. And then this section obviously is the calendar, perpetual calendar. Then I've got the section set up by, I pull a quarter at a time. This is a happy planner divider that came with, I think it was a calligraphy was the title of it. Uh, this is the classic size, but I love the dividers in this. So I've kept those so I can reuse it. Things are utilitarian in my planner. There's not a lot of stickers and stamps and, you know, doodads. This is a typical spread. Let me turn to the blank ones. Um, these are from Erin Condren that I just took the pages out and used my punch to use them for trackers. And then there's things in here like uh, YouTube, uh, my weekly task, my daily task, and then my monthly task. So then each day of the week has a, a tracker and I can just check it off as I go through the day. This is more like the bare minimum that I could do and know that I've gotten the necessary task done. And then this is my SC section. This is my YouTube section. So that's that one. I'm going a little different for 2023. This is a Carpe Diem that I got maybe a year or two ago and I've never used it and I know it's not really the color for a, a winter or a new year but this is what I'm using and I made these little charms this little booklet let me show this so you can I just love this little booklet her book this little book I made from a Nick the booksmith printable that she sells and then these are just the leaves are just from a craft store in fact the leaves came on this chain and I just decided to use then this is an agate that I wrapped in stained glass and soldered and then this is another just craft store find I might change this out to be a white sparkly more wintry and then this is the planner, and I don't keep a lot of tchotchkes in here. I've got some pictures of grandkids, a few business cards, some stickers I like, um, and some post-its. So in here I've got Angela Hester's trackers that she sent out with her November box. And then I've also got a number of these stickers which I bought from a shop um, on Etsy. These are printables that you print yourself just on sticker paper. And I can't for the life of me remember which one it was. What I'm focusing on for this right now is my HP90 planner, which if you're not familiar with, I'll leave um, a link down below. There is an HP90 boot camp course that you can take from Sarah Cannon. You can use the, the system that she teaches you. You can use it in whatever planner that you want. I have printed out her planner. I have this set up so that I can start preparing for the first quarter. So this is a quarterly review for the last quarter of 2022. And then this is HB90. And this right here is the goal setting section. And then this is January, February, and March. There's nothing to see in there. It's, it's totally blank. But if you take her HB90 bootcamp course, you get this for free. 
or you can purchase these items in her Etsy shop. And that is my 2023 calendar. And then this back one, this is a planner that I got from Dollar General that I am pleased with. This was like $3. And it fits in here perfectly. Um, it's for health and fitness, so I can like track my meals. I can, my water intake, my sleep, um, my workouts, you know, whatever I want to do. And it's undated. So it's going to give me a lot of, a lot of use for $3. And that is my planner. Lastly, lastly, I have my Kanban board. The jar over here has the tasks that I've completed. And these are the tasks remaining for this quarter. The Kanban board is something that Sarah Cannon recommends as part of her HP90 Bootcamp, and I found it has really helped me stay on task. What do you think, Poncho? Huh? What do you think? Huh?